All right, guys, I'm going to do a little Sunday cook. I'm going to do is a meatloaf here. So you know me, I always try to kick things up a little bit. So what we're going to do is, uh, let me get some 85.5 ground chuck, got some hot sausage, and I got some ground turkey here. And I also got one pound of bacon. And what I'll do is, I'll, I'll fry that up in the pan, get it all crispy, and then we'll break it all up, throw it inside the meatloaf. <laughs> What I'm going to do is, um, I got breadcrumbs and I got corn stuffing mix. And I'm going to kind of mix that, you know, in, in with the meatloaf. Now, I got extra corn stuffing mix if I want to use it. Uh, I got marinara sauce. Got a can of black beans. B&M Boston baked beans. And I got some gravy. Now I think the secret to a moist meatloaf is adding gravy to it, you know. And also I got green peppers, onions, and mushrooms. So I won't use all this stuff. I'll just cut it up and render down what I'm gonna put in there. And what we'll do is we'll render this stuff down here in the pan. You know, we'll get some garlic too, and then we'll mix all the meatloaf up. You know, I'll cook the bacon. We'll throw all that in there. All this stuff we'll mix it in a big pan. Then we'll make the meatloaf and we'll bake it. And I'll show you how I do the meatloaf. But that's what I'm going to do. I got season, you know, breadcrumbs, and I'm going to kind of put some of that. I like corn stuff and mix. I kind of give it a little. I like to add different flavors and different layers in my food and try it out and see how it comes out. So this is going to be kicked up a notch. Meatloaf kicked up a notch. So I'll try to bring you guys along. Hopefully I can, uh, I'm sure it's going to be tasty when it's all done. I'm going to make a whole bunch, and I'm going to freeze it like I usually do. It's baby the dog, the star of the show, there she is, man. Guys, first thing I'll do is I'll cook up all this bacon, get it all nice and crispy, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, I'm crisping up all the bacon. I'm gonna cook up all this bacon now, you know, and then I'll crush it all up into little pieces. All right, guys, I got the bacon all clean, all cooked up, so I'll be ready to rock and roll. Just let it dry and crush all that up, throw all that in with the meat. Oh yeah, mama. Alright guys, so I got my onions cut up. Portobello mushrooms. And green peppers. A couple of onions. One green pepper. And you know, I don't know, half a cup. Half a cup, half a cup. I don't really go by measurements. I just put in there what I think I, what I need to. Alright guys, so I didn't clean the pan, that's what I fried the um, bacon in. Put the onions in there. Green peppers. And the mushrooms. We'll render all that down. I'm also going to throw a can of petite cut tomatoes in there. Kind of render that down for a while. So I just put the uh, stew tomatoes in there, the petite cut tomatoes, just to give it some juice so I didn't have to add no butter. They'll kind of steam it, give it a little flavor. Kind of getting all the bacon bits, all the, the bacon renderings off the bottom also. Oh yeah, mama, next level. Our real working men cook series, guys. I do this for the working guys. It's gonna be good, man. Oh yeah. 
I got all the bacon cut up. That's gonna go right. I got all that. That's one pound of bacon all cut up. Oh yeah. All right, guys. So I got it all mixed up here. I put in the breadcrumbs and two cans of gravy, beef gravy. All the breadcrumbs and everything. So what we'll do is, all right, guys. I got two things of meatloaf here, and what I did is, I did this to this one over here. I just made a big flat patty, and what I like to do is separate it with a with a spatula all the way around. So what's going to happen is, when it cooks, it's going to get crusty all all the way, all the way inside everywhere. Works out a lot better like that. Best part of the meatloaf is the ends. The inside isn't as good, so I like to do it like this and. This way here, it'll be all nice and crispy. Once I get the other one all set, we'll season it all up and we'll bake it. We're going to put that on 350. My, my camera did show. Oh, yeah. It's the star of the show. Baby the dog. Baby the dog, the star of the show right there, man. There she is. All right, guys. Just some, some pepper. I don't need any garlic powder because I got plenty of garlic in there already, so. Oregano seasoning. I like this stuff. Put some of that on there. Now the reason why I spread it, this way here will get all nice and crispy all the way around. I kind of like it like that. So if you don't like it like that, leave it all bunched up. That's how I like it. Gonna be good, man. I like some of this this stuff here. It's like a barbecue seasoning. I'm not gonna put a lot. Just a little bit on there. Just a little bit, not too much. Just got kind of a kick to it. So. There we go. Along with that, there we go. Um, I don't need any salt. I'm pretty much ready to put it inside the oven. Bake it on 350 for an hour or so and we'll see how it looks. Oh yeah, ma. A real worker man cook, ma. Next level. Well, I put the timer on for one hour. We'll let it go and we'll check on it. Alright guys, I just pulled the meatloaf out. Man, I just I lost a lot of the footage uh, mixing the stuff up, but man, too bad. I'll probably post the video anyway because it came out so good and it's this is uh, a real good meatloaf. I wasn't able to. I did capture the footage, but my um, camera fell, so you didn't see me mixing up. All the, um, you know, all the meat. Oh, man, this stuff looks yummy. How I like to separate it like that. It gets all nice and crusty down all inside every area. All the nicks and crannies get nice and crunchy. Man, next level. How real work I'm in, cook, mama. Oh, yeah, mama, next level. and moist man can't believe a camera dropped on me unbelievable oh yeah real working man's meatloaf mama next level 
gonna steam up a little bit of asparagus to go with the meatloaf. Alright guys, it's the next day here. I need some asparagus to go with it. I got the meatloaf here. Oh yeah, nice and moist. Now I like to have it crispy all the way around. You don't like it as crispy, don't cook it as long. I cook it, cooked it for about an hour and a half. Or like asparagus. It's kind of a little al dente. It's the end. Very good. Now a secret to a moist meatloaf is adding that um, beef gravy. I like the black beans in there too. That's me. Yum. Nice and moist. Not dry. Yum. Added a little marinara sauce to the top. Asparagus. Asparagus. Now it's got a little crunch to it. Yum. Alright guys, you see where I'm going with this. Go cool, this baby the dog man. She wait for her plate. Baby the dog. The star of the show, there she is. The only thing I didn't get you guys is um footage of me mixing up the meat. The beans and you know the vegetables and uh breadcrumbs. My camera dropped and I lost the footage, but I wanted to post a video anyway. I think you guys get the gist of how to mix it up. Very moist, yummy meatloaf. How real worker men cook, mama. How real worker men cook.